This section heading is called Describing the Action Script. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in as root. Once we're on the system, we're going to review the PHP code that enabled us to collect usernames and passwords within our stolen form. So we're going to review this PHP code within the terminal. So we're going to actually use cat to print it within here. So cat var www html and then our action script was called index.php. So now reviewing the code line by line. On the first line we're using the post function to retrieve data from the username input field and store it in a variable called var1. On the next line we're using the post function once again but here we're referencing the data from the password input field and we're going to store that data inside of a variable called var2. On the next line we're using echo. So we're using echo to display these words on the web page. On the next line we're defining another variable. Now what we're doing with this variable is we're basically creating a reference. So what we're referencing is going to be based on what we're doing over here. So we're using fopen function to open a connection to a file named log and then we're going to adjust the pointer to the end of the file because of this a option over here which means append. So now we're going to use fwrite. So the fwrite function. So what we're going to write, first we're going to reference both the connection and pointer and then we're going to write on a new line username colon and then whatever we retrieved via the username input field. Moving down to the next line, once again using fwrite. So what we're going to write, again, referencing both the connection and then the pointer, we're going to write on a new line, password, colon, and then whatever we retrieve via the password input field. And then we're going to add another new line. On this last line right here, we're using the fclose function. So basically, we're just freeing up all the resources that were consumed within this program. So basically, we're just killing the connection, which kills the pointer.